Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Makeup the Anna, and you're in for a treat. On this tutorial, I am showing you my detailed go-to brow. Like, this is my everyday brow. This is something I do all the time. I always get asked, how do you get your brows where you get them? Like, what are you using? It's so easy to do. When I'm out, I don't care where I go. I always get compliments on my brows. And so like, this has been my favorite go-to brow look. I did a brow tutorial maybe like two months ago and that tutorial was really not how I do my brows y'all like I'm just trying to like really elevate you and your brow game without further ado let's get into this tutorial start showing you what I do I did want to kind of clarify some of the products you'll need for this look trying to get your brows to lay the way you want them to has been like the talk of my conversations and it's because I use duo lash glue so I know a lot of people are using like that brow freeze from Anastasia different brow gels to try to make your brows stay in place all day and it's just not holding up so I've been using the duo clear lash glue for my brows in y'all when I say my brows stay in place all day they stay in place all day and so that's the number one thing you're going to need in your brow kit the next thing I recommend that you have is some type of brow pencil the brow pencil I'm going to use is to benefit precisely my brow pencil because I needed something that was really going to be very tiny and precise so that I can really get that hair like stroke when it comes to my brow hairs. You'll need a brow spoolie, a concealer brush, and you'll need something to blend out the concealer. So some type of blending brush. Because this is my everyday brow routine, the most important thing to make sure when you're getting your concealer is that your concealer matches your skin complexion. The last thing you'll need, a brow razor. You have to make sure your brows are nice and cleaned up before you start trying to do this look because the way you have to do the brows, this one won't work if you don't clean your brows so I go maybe like one to two weeks um, before I clean my brows up whenever you're trying to make sure that you stay consistent with cleaning your brows up make sure that you are staying on top of it so that you don't forget what shape you created for your brows now for the moment you've all been waiting for <laughs> I'm just brushing my brows up and over in the direction that they grow because I'm getting ready to actually arch them um, my eyebrows are always already pretty much arched um, I try to arch them like maybe like every two weeks or so. So I'm just taking my brow razor and I'm just cleaning up any hairs that are out of place and don't have a home. And I'm just creating the shape that I want for my brows. Like I said before, you always wanna make sure you clean your brows up before you do this brow look because you wanna make sure that your brows are even. Now that I've created the shape I wanted, I'm gonna go in with my spoolie and brush my brows up once again, just so I can get ready to trim them so that all of my hairs are even and that no hair is out of place. Because like I said, when you're doing this brow look, sometimes when you brush your brows up, if you notice, sometimes there are hairs that are like longer than the other and we don't don't want that we want all of our hairs even so that you can have that really clean laminated brow look now for the moment i know you've all been waiting for this is like what really changes your brow game taking that duo lash glue and really using it to brush your brows up and over so i'm using anastasia brow spoolie and i'm just brushing that glue into my brows and i'm brushing my brows up because that's the shape that i want that's the way i want my brows to look i want them to look like hairs i want my brows to look really very much like hairy like full looking brows and that's just what it's gonna give it's gonna give you that brow freeze to look all day long so yes i'm putting you on game when it comes to the lash glue duo hack like you will forever be a fan of the duo lash glue when you start using this so trust me when i say baby it's gonna last all day now i will say when using the duo lash glue you want to move quickly because it does dry down really fast and if you notice i'm taking the end of the angled part of my brush and i'm just like really smoothing out the glue because i really want these to lay all day and it really just seals in and locks in the glue honestly if you're really into like a natural brow look you could stop here and not do anything else but because i want to further define my brows i am gonna step it up a notch but like look at my brows y'all like that's what you want you 
you want a laminated brow freeze like they're not going anywhere i do want to apologize in advance um i'm not sure why my camera started like getting really blurry but it did but i still wanted to keep this in to show you what i do next and so now i'm going in with my benefit precisely my brow pencil in the shade 4.5 and i'm just creating hair like strokes in the places where hairs aren't as pronounced and i'm just gonna like create some natural hair like strokes at the beginning of my brows just to kind of make them more extended towards my nose because i like my brows to be a little bit longer very much like unibrow <laughs> if you could say to further define my brows, I'm going to use the Lucy Concealer Brush number 211. I'm going to take my concealer from Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer Toasted Almond 20G. And I'm just going to glide that flat concealer brush across my brows. This is my favorite part of the brow routine because I love a defined brow. This is like so therapeutic for me. Like if you're watching this, you should feel like at ease, calm, relaxed. <laughs> but anyway, I'm taking the Lucy Brush number 207. This is a medium angled shading brush and I'm just buffing out the concealer that I use so that everything is seamless like I said before you always want to use a concealer that is like close to your skin complexion just to make sure that we have a very snatural brow look we don't want anything too haloed we want everything to look nice and natural excuse my dog in the background I don't know what he hears but like he's really like bugging right now <laughs> Just to reiterate the fact of me concealing my brows, I'm not going to over talk this part. Just watch and see how I conceal my brows. Now that both brows have been concealed, I'm just going back in with that same buffing brush and I'm just further blending out the concealer, making sure everything is blended out because like I said, like we want a really natural laminated brow. We want people to think like we woke up like this and that's exactly what we're supposed to be given. I hope this confirmed what you already knew about your brows. I hope this helped you elevate your brow game. I hope this showed you a new technique. I hope I gave you a beauty hack so that you can create this look and like really kill the brow game. So y'all, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had a blast doing it because like, it's one of my highly requested like how to's. So I was like, you know what? Why not create a how to video on my laminated brows so that you can do it and I don't have to try to like talk about it. I just want you to see it so you can do it yourself, recreate this look and like really kill the brow game. I'm Makeup Deanna. I love y'all and I'll catch you on the next tutorial.